real fight for the ages between Bruce Lee and Anthony Johnson. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Johnson is five years the elder. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a six inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Anthony Rumble Johnson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, to my fight. Back to the feet. Well, that body 
kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. While working out of side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his body. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound pounds. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Wow, huge head kick. Looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. from that round, he went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done one. Up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this match. What a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. You don't know when that leg keeps coming. Some nice back and forth action here. for the head kick, he misses there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round, no denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Blocks the shot. Right there, a 
was a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. about this, we have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's gonna be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.